Hello everybody, this is Captain Jirwa bringing you another Pokemon Showdown battle, and today I am bringing you an OU battle. I basically was on Showdown, and I made a very, very standard dot sand team with the uh, bulky offense core of Heatran, Landorus T, and Rotom, because it is pretty good, and uh, my opponent is also using a very standard dot sand team with a... Uh, I think th two of those Pokemon. He actually has four of the same Pokemon I do, but I just lead off with Banded Terrakion. He leads off with Rotom, and that thing is just going to die to close combat. So, there it is. It's dead. Banded Terrakion is too strong, but now he can bring in his own Lander Astherian, which is not good for me, so I just switch out to my own Rotom because it can take this on pretty well. But he gets a U turn critical hit, which is not very good for me, but, uh,. Doesn't matter too much in the long run because I am a Resto Chester Rotom, and he predicts my switch to T Tar on the Latios here pretty good and goes into his own Terrakion, so I cannot stay in here. I go into my Landorus Therian. This is a like bulky scarf Landorus Therian. It's got some HP investment, it's got an attack boosting nature, got max attack and some speed. It's a pretty interesting set. Uh, I stole it from Eon Blitz, so yeah, shouts to him, but. I go for Earthquake, goes for Stone Edge, and I predict him to switch out into something, and I go into Rotom, but that is not... I did not get it right. I thought he was going to go into his own Landorus, but he goes into Latios. But he is still afraid of me switching into Titar on that Latios, so, uh, yeah. But, so he double switches again into his Landorus, which is not good for me. He is doing very well with these double switches in the beginning of the match, but, uh, bringing my own Landorus Therion on his, because... Lander's T check itself pretty well. He brings in Latios on my Lander's Thing, which was a huge mistake because he should have seen earlier that I outsped his Terrakion because now I can get off a huge amount of damage with that U-turn and go into my Heatran. And after this Draco Meteor, I can set up Stealth Rocks, which will be very good in wearing down his Scissor and his Landorus. Except he crits me. Which really, really sucks. That is the second crit he got. So now... That Landorus and that Scissor are going to be very annoying to take out. But, uh, yeah. He, he brings in the Scissor now with my, my Landorus. I'm like, well, I'm just going to Earthquake. Even if he does go into Landorus, I can just switch out into Rotom or Latios or something. And it's not too big of a deal. And I get off a huge amount of damage with that, which is good. Because that Scissor can bullet punch a lot of things on my team right now. But... I just decided to go into Latios on his Landorus because looking at his team, this thing is probably my least useful thing because he does still have a Scissor and a Tyranitar left and the Terrakion, like my Dragon Pulses, will not be doing too much to it since the sand is up. But he goes into Tyranitar. I, for some reason, just spammed Recover. I should have Dragon Pulse, but it doesn't really matter because... Either way, I'm just going to bring in, like, Landorus or Terrakion to Revenge Kill at the next turn anyway, so... I bring in Terrakion here, I go for Stone Edge predicting Landorus, and it misses, but... It's actually not too bad, like, I for some reason think Titar resists Rock, but it doesn't, because Rock doesn't resist Rock for some reason, I don't know why, but... I can basically just kill this thing with Stone Edge, which is pretty cool, because, uh, yeah, now I'm at plus two, which is interesting, but... He can just bring in his scissor and revenge kill me with the bullet punch. I thought he was going to U-turn there, which is why I stayed in. Like, if he had U-turned as I switched out into Rotom, it would have been not very good for me. Because I really need this Rotom. But now that he's locked into bullet punch, I can get my Resto Chesto off and get back to full health. Which is great, because now I can start... Uh, well, now I can live a lot more hits, and he really has nothing to take a Hydro Pump at this point, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. Now he's going to bring in his Terrakion to try to kill me off, and uh, that Stone Edge does a lot, but it doesn't kill me, so I can get off a Hydro Pump, except I miss. Which is not very good, but he misses on the next turn, so it's okay, but my Hydro Pump doesn't kill him. And even though it does not kill him... It doesn't really matter in the long term because as you can see he misses the second stone edge or that doesn't really matter in the long term because what i could have done is brought in my own landorus and i could have lived a minus one stone edge easily and i could have just locked myself into scarfed hp ice which as you're going to see does not quite take out his landorus but uh 
yeah, I can just go into my T-Tar and live the Earthquake from there, so... Yeah, this is a pretty close battle. There was lots of hacks flying around on both sides, and I'm sorry I got ahead of the battle there, but... You know, there's a certain point in the battle when it's over, so... But, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this battle. I hopefully will be doing more battles with this team. It's pretty interesting, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like and a comment because they are cherished, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.